All right, so the gospel in chairs, I'm calling this, all right? Okay, so in the beginning, God. God creates the heavens and the earth. And he creates man. Because God is love, he wanted a loving family, someone to love. And so God's idea was relationship. God wanted relationship with man. In the beginning, God. God created the heavens and the earth, and everything was good. God walked with man in the garden. But in order to have a loving relationship, you have to have a choice. And the choice of love is not to love. Amen? Because you have to have that choice. And man said, you know what? I know you want me, you want to be our God, but I would rather be my own God. And so Adam and Eve, they walk away. But God in his love, he pursues them. When they're naked, he makes them close. When he realizes, when they realize they're naked, he makes them close. And so God begins to pursue them. But Adam and Eve decide they would still rather <coughs> go their own way. So God says, you know what I'll do? Because I know you need me and I know I'm best for you. I'm going to give you laws. And I'm going to give you commands. That these commands will separate you from everyone else and will make you holy. But man said, you know what? I want my own laws. And I want my own commands. But God said, I will send you prophets. The prophets will guide you. The prophets will lead you. The prophets will keep you safe. But man said, you know what? God brought him here. And man said, I'd rather guide myself. So God then reaches out to them one more time. And he says, listen, I will allow you to be held captive by Nebuchadnezzar. I'm not doing it to punish you, but I'm doing it so that you see your need for me. And man begins to look, and then God frees him, and then man says, no, I'll still do my thing. So God then says, I've sent prophets, I've sent laws, I've done everything that I could. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come myself. I'm going to enter into time and space as a man so that I can reconnect myself to man in the form of Jesus. And Jesus comes along and here's what he does. He shows us how to live. He gives us peace. He looks at um, a Samaritan woman, a Gentile. The Jews are mad because he draws her in. He looks at a wee little man called Zacchaeus that nobody likes, but he draws him and he has dinner with him. He shows us how to love. He shows us how to live. He gives us a choice. And he says, if you make this choice, we can be reconciled together. But the choice, it's still yours. But God goes further. He says, if you make that choice, not only will I show you how to live, I will live in you, and I will empower you by my spirit to make a difference so that you can reconcile others to me through the witness.